hi all in this uh, session we would be looking at how to default the values at the purchase requisition level uh, see whenever you're creating a purchase requisition level there is a possibility that many a people they would be ending up creating for the same plant same purchasing organization and same storage location so what happens i mean you know it uh, involves a lot of time uh, whenever you're creating again and again giving the uh, valuation you know it's like extra time so to avoid on that what you can do is you can always default on certain values uh, this is one of the best way out to reduce a little bit of time and not only that in fact this is also one of the way to ease out the and reduce the errors that human errors that can happen and now for creation of a purchase requisition the uh, path is logistics and then I'm going into the materials management and then I'm going into purchasing and then I'm going into the purchase requisition and then ME51N this is the creation of the purchase requisition so either I can go double click on this or I can type in at the transaction commands command screen and I say ME51N now you can see this is a purchase requisition and if I have to create a purchase requisition there are a lot many fields here like item material quantity material group plant storage location purchase group so now if I have to default certain values how I can do so for that what I can do is click on personal setting now here again there's something like default values click on it now you can see certain values here like delivery date then the tracking number then the requisitioner so here you can see here that delivery date then requisitioner there's something like already the fields are here now if you would like to if you would like to have this pre-populated you can default the value by giving the value here else what you can do is you can also click on always propose now if you're clicking on always propose it will always ask you that what value should be given if in case you would like to have more values click on more fields now here you will get a list of the hidden fields you can see here there are a lot many fields that are hidden um, like plant document type source determination storage location material group uh, mrp controller promotion purchase or the price uh, purchasing group supplying plant so let's say that I would like to default plant storage location and then the purchasing group. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these fields visible. So for that, just click on this automatically. These two, you can see here the icons, two directional icons. Now it's like if you click on this, it's like you're hiding these fields. And if in case you're clicking like this, you're making those fields as display fields. So what I'm going to do plan storage location purchasing group all three has come in now so i would say copy now you can see here purchasing group then the plan and the storage location is visible on the screen so i'm going to pick up this now so let me pick up my tesco okay so purchasing group i have picked up plant let me pick up my plan z double zero eight storage location as wm and i press enter now what I have to do is I just have to save this so I'm saving this now you immediately you can see here that purchasing group storage location and the plant all three values have been filled up by default it will be picked up now no matter how many times I would create this purchase requisition automatically these values will be picked up by the system so if in case you do not want these values to be defaulted you can always revert your changes or you can always make changes if in case your plant or storage location or there is any change in the purchasing group you can always go back to the personal setting you can always change your default values so whatever the default values you like you can pick up else you can also go for the always propose option that will help you out so this is how you can help yourself a little bit uh, by making a little bit of customization uh, thank you for watching this video uh, please do like and subscribe us.